And uh, we're ready to um, open the floor to questions. I've been, I've been planning my career so long. And as I look at the, the history, the action star life very short. If a star, wow, look at Robert Redford right now still acting. I want to be an actor. As how? Because the audience always tricking actions, action star comedy. And I, in Asia, I'm really very tough to slowly change. But for the last 20 years, the slowly my fans in Asia, they accepted. Wow, Jackie is an uh, actor. It's not action star. But in Hollywood, I received so many scripts. Police from Hong Kong, police from China. Secret police from Hong Kong, secret police from China. <laughs> this, I, I, I cannot... I always look at so many American movies. I said, that should suitable for me. That's suitable for me. But why nobody hire me to do this kind of movie? Like, okay, like, I'm not talk, I'm I just, not like La La Land. Okay, it's kind of like La La Land. I said, yes, why not me? Why? There's so many things. So a couple of years ago, suddenly I got a, the, the phone call from, from my, my, my uh, American uh, manager. That's a script. It's called Foreign. Uh, they tell me the story. I said, "Wow, yes. Uh, can I act it?" Then the, the, he said, "The screen player, the the the, the, uh, the writer said, Not only Jackie Chan. Otherwise, nobody can act." I said, "Yes." <laughs> I've been waiting for so many years. Then wait, I, I, there's so many. Of course, there's so many things going on, and then. I just waiting, waiting, waiting until two years later. Then yeah, everything combined. Then I, I, I'm so happy to do it. Yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> working with Pierce was well. It's a few years, you know. I mean, I did Goldeneye with him, mm -hmm. uh, which was <clears throat> I think 1996. I can't remember. So uh, um, we both aged a bit since then. Uh, <clears throat> but. Um, so, so first and foremost, he, he's a terrific actor, and I think he does a terrific performance in, in the movie. Um, and he and Jackie work very well together. Um, and as you know, the movie is actually based on a book written in 1993 um, that was called The Chinaman. Well, we obviously updated it because, as you know, since 1998, the IRA, is, there's been peace between uh, the British and the IRA. And so our, our story is fictitious in the sense that it's a rogue breakaway group within the IRA um, who, uh, um, who are the bad guys in this case. And, uh, but it very much follows the, the, the subplot, the, if you will, the political subplot of it was one of the things that really intrigued me, the, the internal politics between, um, between uh, Pierce Brosnan's character Hennessy and uh, and his IRA cohorts. You know, he was some. Um, he was in the IRA back in the seventies. He's now not part of that organisation, but it comes back to haunt him. So that side of it again really intrigued me, along with the fact, of course, that um, not Jackie playing something entirely different, but also a kind of you know a humble common man who really loses everything when he loses his daughter who then sets out um, to find out, track down, and, um, and, and uh, deal with the people that killed his daughter. I, I think really, only thing I prepare is the English. You know, I have a coach to teach me all the English, and also I have to understand what peers are speaking because it is a very different accent. I have to know when is my, my dialogue. Uh, rather that, uh, I just, on the set, just the director teach me a lot of things. Jackie, move slowly, you're, you're not Jackie Chan, you're Guan. Uh, sometimes when I turn around and move things, Jackie, too quick, slow down. I don't know why you make me so old. Uh, even a, even a fighting, even a fighting. No, breathe. 
you have to breathe. And then I said, after I fight, you know, usually I fight bam, like this. And then after now I I fight up, boom. <laughs> I do. <laughs> And and I probably uh, makes the uh, the movie work. And why I choose this movie also I have a reason. A few years ago, uh, all those years, all those years, like I have to make something correct. Like when I make Drunken Master, tell people drinking and fight. When they're growing up, slowly growing up. When I look at the movie. I said, wrong. Why I tell people drinking and fighting? I have to make drunk, drunk and master too. Correct myself. Don't drink. Don't fight. During all those years I travel around the world, I see so many things. If things I don't like it, then I, what, what should I do? I'm the filmmaker. I only get through the movie. Like a couple of years ago, I, I see Middle East, there's so many war going on. I, I make a movie called Dragon play. It's about peace, united. And when I see the auction market, there's so many things auction going on. I make a 12th zodiac. I said respect things. You have to return. I, I hope probably never happen, but at least from my heart through the movie, I hope all the tr international treasure, international treasure, return your own country. That's the that's the good thing. When I in in Ngowa, do you remember? Angola. I see the beautiful Buddha, half face gone. But in somebody museum, why why don't you return the half face? Put there. I think those if belongs to the whole world. It's not only belongs to one museum. I'm so happy after the twelve zodiac. I'm finished. Gucci company. Return two hat to China. Wow, I'm so happy. Same thing. And right now, the 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 the, the terrorist attack in the whole in the world every single day. Just like I always said, the natural disaster, tornado, tsunami, every single day it happen. Why human create a human disaster? I through the movie. I hope we can stop these kind of things. Don't just killing innocent every single day, but we have to what what like you say we have to live it. <coughs> just single day in every country, every city, every the whole world become it, it happened. Yeah. Uh, first, I love Cobra. Uh, I learned a lot of things from American movies. At that time, I was so famous in Asia, and suddenly the some director, I'm so stupid, the some director, Jackie, he only know action movie, he don't know some other things. I'm so angry. I said, no, I'm a filmmaker, I just, I, I want to show I'm the, I'm, I'm my director's skill. So I used a miracle, this movie, to do the best I can, the camera movement. And after I finished the movie, at that time I used like a 90 million Hong Kong. There was a lot. And the old day we're making a movie like a what? 5 million, 10 million. But I used 90 million to make a miracle. I spent a 10 million Hong Kong to buy a techno, technovation, not penovation, technovation. I, I, in one day I hired the, the whole Hong Kong, the film, in one one set, nobody have a lighting anymore. I'm the one who hired the rent everything. And the movie comes out. And also I promised my, 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 my art director, my cameraman, I, I will make you the best lighting guy. You get the, uh, the, the Hong Kong Oscar. Just like a, I want to make you a best actress. I want to make you, but that's my goal. And I used the camera movement, everything. Seven days for one shot. Seven days in one shot. And and some some shot for sixteen hour for one shot. And the movie comes out, the box office, no good, nobody get anything. And I was destroyed my 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 uh, ego. 
Then, the later on, I make a movie, just, I want to make a good movie. That's all. I don't. Then, I got best box office. I get so many things. And later on, I learned things. When you do something, don't aim for something. I want to get Oscar. I want to get this. I want to get that. And, and up, you get nothing. If you make a good movie, at result, you get so many things. They come to you. You don't have to find them. Yeah. No, not, not at all. First of all, I, I want to give Stephen Leather his plug. It, it was based originally on his book, and he did it. He can't be here, but his book is. Um, he did a great job. Originally, for me, it was a man who. Yeah, there, for me, it's a story about a man who is caught up in a tragedy. And we have so many tragedies today around us. I mean, you know, look at Las Vegas. They just go on and on and on. And here you have the story of a, of, a, of a grieving father who has nothing left to live for, who has basically run out of options. And because of that, he, he, the only option he has left is to go after honor. And that is to find the killers of his daughter, no matter where it leads, and, and somehow go proactive on this. And so much in, this, in the style of the old Charles Bronson pictures and stuff, he, he does what's necessary. He's never a villain in my mind. He's, he's, a, he's a grieving father who is going after the only um, ring left to, to do. And, and in my mind, I didn't think he ever, and in the book, he never walks away from the, he dies in the end. Because for, for him, it's just about regaining the honor I mean, he lost two daughters earlier in, in a tragic, you know, accident to Thai pirates, and he was unable to do or avenge those killings. So, in this sense, he will do whatever it takes as his final breath to go after the the killers that robbed him of the last thing he loved, because he has nothing left to live for. And there's so many people that um, that occurs today too. So, to me, he was never a villain, but uh, just a, a father overwhelmed with grief. I find this film, I learned how, a few years later, when I, oh, how hap what happened to me? And I have to walk slowly, and, and quiet, humble old guy. And I just remember every day, to, we just make up, the first day I make up, I have to make up like a five, four hour. And the director said, not old enough, more older. Older, <laughs> older, older. I just, ah, God, and more, 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 more. Just non, non, non-stop. Uh, I'm glad you, you said that. You, you like it. Then uh, I, I achieve my goal, then that's what I want for the future. Um, I, learned, I learned a lot of things is the character. You know, it's uh, so good. It's, they have so bad, so much, so many background. Nobody knows. You don't want to talk about it. You just put it inside. You know, choir, high in London, have a restaurant. That's all. You want to peace peacefully to have his own life. <laughs> then trust it happen. His daughter's gone. He just want to Jing Yi, do you Huh? Righteous. The, somebody give me an answer. Righteous. Yeah. Righteous. yeah. Righteous. yeah. <laughs> so it's difficult. <laughs> just ask the police, the government. It's just so simple. Give me the name, that's all. The whole movie, just give me the name. Yeah. Otherwise, the, this bad guy continue to kill the people. Yeah. I mean to me, you know, <clears throat> when, when I know I get Oscar, I just... I, don't, I just don't believe it. Why me? I'm just making a cheap action comedy movie. And those kind of Oscar always like Tom Hanks, uh, Robert De Niro, this kind of actor can, can get. Why me? Then after I, I asked the, the, the chairman of the Oscar, why me? Is it? Because you do so many things, not just acting. Before acting, you do so many things for for animal, for the charity. For all, 50 years, we're, we've been looking for you. The first one, 
。全票通過點講？ The fifty people, everybody agreed the first time, and I said, "Why you bring my names up?" He said, "Yeah, we've been arguing something. Why this guy? Why this guy? If you're talking about uh, Korean things, uh, um, uh, doing a, a movie, uh, never changed all those years, da da. There gotta be Jackie Chan. Then somebody, ah, oh, Jack, yeah, you are right, Jackie Chan. Are you agree, Jackie Chan? Jackie, okay, everybody, fifty people just <laughs> raise a hand. I said, oh, oh okay. <laughs> then I realized all those years I never thought I can get anything. I just, no matter cheap movie, expensive movie. A uh, terrible movie, good movie. Every movie I make, you uh, making a movie, you just like a gambling, like like a foreigner. I don't know that movie good or bad. Uh, do the audience they like it or not? Some movie you spend a lot of money, boom. Some some movie you you, you spend a lot of money, big success. You just don't know. I just follow my dream, just do the best I can. Every movie I make almost reach my life, do the best I can. And after when I have time, I do just do a charity, um, <clears throat> helping people, help helping the young generation. Then I start a Jackie Chan Foundation. Then I start Jackie Chan Training Center to train a lot of young young talent. I never thought I can really want something. I never. Today is Oscar come to me. The old day I tried to come to Oscar so many years. Then I give up. No. Then now. Suddenly, all come to me. So this is why I tell my young children: do the best you can. Don't aim for anything. And later on, few years later, or ten years, twenty years later, everything—the money, the fame, the the award—come to you. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for coming, and thank you to Mark and Who wants to do it? The first step.